PN stands for particulate matter, and it is 10 microns in size or smaller. That's one-seventh the thickness of a human hair and the size of some of the dust particles blowing around the Coachella Valley on windy days. Our lungs can't get rid of those tiny particles of PM10 and can be left scarred. The Coachella Valley has a dust problem that has gotten worse since Tropical Storm Hillary. Our latest I-Team investigation reveals concerns about our numerous dust-choking windstorms post-Hillary. I-Team investigator Jeff Stahl has been looking at documents and asking local leaders if this is a temporary hazard or a permanent new threat to our health and tourism-based economy. Local experts say our air quality has diminished dramatically since the end of August due to Tropical Storm Hillary. And they say if these PM10 carrying dust storms continue into our springtime, traditionally our windiest months, the haze they create could damage both our good health and local economy. If this happens again in the spring, we're really in for it. Tom Kirk of the Coachella Valley Association of Governments points to hotels, tennis tournaments, festivals, and other outdoor events people might simply leave and go home. If we have these air quality problems again in the spring, it could be disastrous for human health, and it could be disastrous for our economy. Vista Chino in the Whitewater Wash before and after with new fresh sediments, finer than sand, more like a powder, more easily blown by the winds, creating a haze. A recent CVAG report estimates more than 5,000 acres of muddy, silty deposits like this have been exposed following Tropical Storm Hillary. CVAG environmental consultant Dr. Emily Heavy Nelson says the South Coast Air Quality Management District has modified its wind speeds in issuing its blown dust air quality warnings. They went from a 25 mile an hour wind speed for a high risk day down to 12 miles an hour. Lower wind speeds kicking up dust and violating federal clean air standards. This graph now showing a 10 year high. And to have four actual events in four days in seven years is that's our traditional, yeah. and we had five in six weeks. Do you think this is going to be a long-term problem? I pray not. Okay, this is... Nelson points to peer-reviewed studies here in the desert showing a direct link between high dust days and lung and heart troubles. A 2000 study in the Journal of Exposure, Science, and Environmental Epidemiology built upon another Coachella Valley study 10 years earlier, showing increased ER visits, hospital admissions, and deaths on days when our PM10 dust levels were elevated. This is a real health hazard that's it's, here right it's now. It's real. It's and, proven. And, and the dust it literally can cause, like, are you saying, like, long-term damage to our lungs? Absolutely. It Chronic exposure to particulate matter over long periods of time can absolutely cause harm to the tissue inside your lungs. Dr. Vincent Devlin, an allergist and immunologist with Eisenhower Health, says people suffer in a number of ways. Patients with asthma, patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD. That's unheard of. 1,100 microns at 9 a.m. in Mecca. This is a public health threat. Local leaders discussed solutions this month. Here's what they're doing now. One, covering those loose soils exposed by August's floodwaters. Two, removing the piles of dry silt along our roads. Three, sweeping our roads clear of PM10 dust. Four, bringing in more air monitors to increase the data points. And five, discussing more focused alerts. For example, canceling school athletics on high dust days. One of the most important things, obviously, is to do sto soil stabilizing. Now, you say much more needs to be done, but what's being done right now? Yes, yeah, so obviously the data is going to be helpful. We need the data to help support us. Fourth District Riverside County Supervisor Manuel Perez says he's working with AQMD on installing new air quality monitoring sites around the valley and is looking toward environmental justice initiatives to pay for more resources and staffing. Street sweepers are also a big tool to suck up dust particles from our roads. That's been the primary valley-wide clean air strategy for years now. This chart shows how sweepers have collected two to four times the normal amount of sand and grit from our streets since Hillary in August, even though these months are not in our traditional windy season. And if we have light rains periodically, that would be good. Nelson is optimistic our air will return to more normal conditions if our desert sands crust over, as they usually do, and new vegetation naturally stabilizes the loose silt. For the I-Team, Jeff Stahl, News Channel 3. 
So here's what you can do to keep your air clean and safe at home. Change your HVAC filters regularly and use a high efficiency HEPA filter air filter. Vacuum up allergens, pollens, pet dander, and other irritants regularly. See your primary physician or an allergist or pulmonologist if you're having respiratory concerns. You can find those tips and much more by clicking on this story on KESQ.com.